wonderful people of the internet, it's Shadows Girl 1920 here. Hi, and we are back with another episode of Tree Seven. So today I'm doing an update on the cathedral. I have got a huge time lapse recorded, but I'm going to make that a separate episode because otherwise I'm going to be cutting up my video with about 10 minutes of time lapse and. I kind of did that with the last one and I don't want to do it again. It just it gets a bit boring and repetitive if I keep doing that. So I'm going to show you guys what I've done. And then the day after this video is released you'll get an Evil Genius video. And then the day after that you'll get the time lapse video because I'm still in the process of editing that. But yeah, have a look at what I did while, while my ankle was broken. <laughs> it is almost finished there are some finishing touches I need to do and I am like 99% sure I've enlisted some help to get that done but these buttresses on these side walls are being replaced with nether brick um, I should be able to zoom in on that yeah these bits here they just they do not stand out so we're going to replace them and those tiny towers around the big one they need replacing as well well they need to be they need buttresses built between them as well and I'll be building that with nether brick as well and that'll kind of tie in the roofs a little bit more and hopefully it looks good alrighty guys so this is the inside now you guys have seen most of the lower levels obviously in other videos but just showing you guys what I've done and what I am planning on doing. There's some archways that I'm wanting to put in either side that were in the original plan that I just didn't get around to doing in, uh, in the videos I've done so far for this. Still need to finish this tower, but that shouldn't take me too long. Um, I am going to be redoing the staircase in this tower, but at least the walls on the interior of this one are finished. In fact, I think the last interior stuff is actually that other tower um where are we all right so this is the top level of the entrance way we also will be doing something with the dark void of a ceiling we have going on um it'll probably be something similar to what i've got going in the very final ceiling which i'll show you guys soon but yeah and then we've got this level which I like there's a lot going on for it um, even with the very minimalistic side and back decorations nice wee balcony here for more viewing pleasures um, we will go up that tower in a minute and then we've got side balconies as well with access to the buttresses which again we will be changing along with the ones up there and then we'll just be building the other ones in nether rack just i think they'll stand out a bit better and it'll look a lot nicer so that's what we're going for now up here is the bell tower. I have not put in the bell. I need to finish the ceiling in here as well, but the rest of it's done. Um, I love these stairs. And then we've got this level, which is the bottom of the rectangular level, the second to last level of the cathedral. There we go and it looks very nice got its balcony as well I mean I can figure out where the doors are all right and then if we just continue on we have the top level of the balcony uh, of this rectangular section with a tiny wee balcony just to kind of not cut into that window um, and then we have these which are essentially a light launch platforms so you can jump off here without having to work around um, brick fences and stuff uh, cobblestone walls what am I saying 
I've been playing too much modded. <laughs> um, and as we come up, we reach the base of the final tower. And this is where you may notice I have changed the staircase. And that's just more so that we get more of that detail on the interior of the tower. Now this is where our final buttressing is going to go. And this is the final part of the cathedral where you can actually get a decent view. Um, obviously render distance is a thing. At this height you can see right out to the edge of the render distance. We're essentially just standing on a big ass square of um, terrain. So that's a thing. And then, if we continue around, like the detail, you'll see this, me putting all this in, in the video that I'll be putting up in about two days after the release of this video. You'll also see me mucking around with the staircase a bit. I think I put in some of the staircase building. I don't know, I've had a couple of computer crashes and some corrupted recording files. But here we are in the top tower. And here's the ceiling got lighting hanging down because this won't have bells in it um, I will be replacing those torches with end rods and then yeah and then we've got these wee staircases up so we can actually access the windows but there's really not much to see with the um, render distance it's set on the server to 16 chunks of memory which is what I've got it set to on my um on, on my pc as well so yeah that's as far as we can see but i'm quite happy with what i did with the ceiling here now we'll try and get some aerial views of it with the elytra and then i'll have a quick chat to you guys about what i'm planning to do over the next few episodes once we've got the finishing touches done on this and we're finally past using the building the cathedral. Oh, yes, I do have my Elytron. I do not have any rockets at the moment, though. But there we go. There it is. Let's see if we can swing past it without crash landing. So we can have a look at the back. The back's a little bit plainer in some parts. Just there. But that's mostly because that back wall needs to be plainer. So, yeah, as I was saying, the back of it's plain. It's not really going to be visible much. It's also going to tie in with the walls of the town. Let's just get up nice and high so we can get some side views as well. But, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Actually, while we're standing here, I'll explain some other things that I'm going to have going on just in this area here, which is where I'm moving all of my farms and the cottage over here. So that's going to be good. I have actually dug out a lot of sand there for concrete, but that, that pond's being filled in. That's not an issue. I'll be clearing out even more trees, probably darkening off even more caves as I come across them, because this was quite a cave heavy area, if you guys remember. Went for the kindness of the dog miner swinging by and lighting them up for me. Um, I definitely would have struggled a bit more with clearing out the forest that I already have cleared. I'm still yet to do experiments to see if a haste beacon will help with that, but I'll keep you guys informed. So, yeah, next step once the cathedral is 100% finished, which will be at the end of the next talky episode, because obviously the next episode is going to be the time lapse of me doing what I've done so far, is I'm going to be tearing this down. I'm going to be tearing down the doghouse. I'm actually going to build a big farmhouse, a um, barn type thing over there. And I'm going to have an automatic chicken and cow, a, an automatic chicken farm. I'm going to have a cow farm, possibly a sheep farm. Wool is probably a thing I need to deal with. Move the parrots over there. You know all that fun stuff. Um, 
And also, just as a wee side note, for uh, I'll be filling in my mind too, but for the farmhouse, I am starting up a build tutorial series in the next month or so, hopefully, all going well now that the kids are back at school. And I will be building this house in a tutorial for anyone who does want just a tidy wee starter house that can actually fit quite a lot in it for its size. I mean, I've got an enchanting area, I've got a very small auto smelter, just the very basic hoppers and chests one. That one, I've got a couple of those floating around. I had to get a lot of nether brick. Um, storage, enchanting area, somewhere to sleep. You know, it's very basic, but it's got pretty much everything you need in there. And then, yeah, obviously the farms. I will quickly sleep and then I'll explain the rest. Um, I will be ripping out a lot more forest. Um, and then our next thing will be to terraform all this. We're going to be building a large town square here with big fountain in the middle and then directly opposite the cathedral in the town square we will be putting our town hall and then possibly a school and like a law enforcement type thing in the general vicinity of that some shops, a post office, houses, you know, you know the, the basic things that a town has. Um, I was originally planning on maybe doing docks over in that direction. I still don't know about that. Uh, that's not going to work. I will climb up the ladder. That is what it's there for. Um, and then... So, oh, I've still got my subtitles on. There we go. We will be using this river. I will probably terraform it to an extent. But we will be using this river. It does lead out to the ocean. We won't be taking it that far. I know it leads out to the ocean because that's where I was going to hunt squid when I needed all the black dye for the um, concrete for the cathedral which just doesn't look so good now that the shape's there it is three blocks below block limit three or six I can't 100% remember I'd have to get on top of it and put on my F3 to figure that out but yeah it's just it's great. I am so happy with that. And obviously, when I first started planning it, I was just like, this is not going to take much more than a month. Seriously, this is going to be great. It's going to take me a month, maybe two at a stretch of things get, if life gets in the way. And I think I've been working on it for six months. I have had life get in the way, obviously, with the house hunting and then finding a house and moving house and then I don't think I've actually told the story properly I'll probably do a channel update over top of the time lapse so I'll give the full story but while I was moving house I managed to break my ankle and severely sprain the other I'm still suffering from the ligament damage in the sprained one and it's been nearly 10 weeks now but yeah we, we've finally got it done and i'm finally trying to get my video schedule back i went a month without internet you, you know it was not fun um so yeah that's it that's the cathedral that's the plans for the upcoming videos we're gonna stop it with the insanely long build time lapses in videos because otherwise it takes me days to actually record a video let alone edit it and I'm just it's getting a bit much and I want to actually be able to be putting out this content and yeah I mean I'd love to be able to get the tree series going regularly again but this has been time consuming so time consuming um alrighty 
So, yeah, I think that about covers what I wanted to cover today. So, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below because this was my master project for 2017 and it's now leaked over into this year. But I'm, I'm rambling. I think this video is sitting at a decent length of time, I don't know. But things are looking good. Alright, so you guys know the drill. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, then please subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Mixer. Links will be down in the description below. And I will see you all next time.